warm welcome to all the viewers. As a new initiative in 2024, Sydney Alumni Cell has started an exclusive interview series with the pillars of Sydney. Today we have the privilege of sitting with our esteemed principal, Dr. Shri Nivas Dure. Let us unravel the journey, the expertise, and the invaluable contrib contributions of Mr. Dure to the Sydney journey. First, I'd like to introduce ourselves, sir. Yeah. Jai Hind, all viewers, as well as you, thank you for giving me an opportunity to express myself to the viewers. So my journey would be like I am associated with the Government College of Maharashtra. Now I am shifted to Sydney College in 2014 and then I took a charge of principal in month of February 2023. After that, I could get many opportunities to do certain things with students where uh, the Sydney culture is the student driven culture. So we started working on that again. Some of the societies were reborn and some of the activities were again restarted. So in that we got much help from the alumni as well. Because many of the alumni, whenever they used to come, they used to say that the contribution of Sydney to their career is like whatever they could achieve, it is only because of the culture of the Sydney. So we try to revive that culture in which, uh, I mean, still we are on the way, there is a long way to go, so we are hoping for the best. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, as you mentioned, you, are, you have started this in 2023 February, so it's almost been a year. So let us start with a fun question. What is the best thing that you like about Sydney College uh, so far? So in Sydney College, what uh, the vibrancy in the, the students, uh, all the students are taking part in many of the activities where they could get uh, many things to learn. So I enjoy this culture. So it is like a learning experience or learning by doing. So that is very, very important. So when students come to me for certain events or for certain activities, to take the permissions, I always ask them, what are you going to achieve through this? So when they say certain things like we will achieve this or that, but more than that, whatever the development, personality development, because of those events, because of that activities, what students could get, that makes me more happy. That is why, and it motivates me also. And then students also realize that whatever benefits, they may feel which may be tangible, but other than that, within themselves they could get certain confidence as well that is very very important and once students realize then they come up with new ideas that idea generation that is very important and these idea generations can be i mean maybe in the class but implementation of those ideas that is very important and that aspect is through these activities only so whenever students do more and more activities i believe that they will get more and more confidence as well I agree with, with you sir, the experience and the confidence, the leadership that we build up with all the activities, that matters a lot. Yes, absolutely. So what was the biggest challenge you faced during adjusting towards the new college, the system? Yeah, but the very, I mean, the, there are many challenges in fact, what we could get uh, is that I, all of us faced uh, some very challenging years during the COVID. So what happened is during those two to three years of lockdown, students were used to have the online sessions and they were not having those exposures, whatever we used to give them in the college. So like even interacting with peers, that also gives more and more confidence to the students, but that was lacking to these two to three years. So that gap is very much for the students. So when we say that we, we believe in this kind of legacy because Sydney is having the legacy of this activity. So it runs more than 20 societies. So that legacy or giving burden to the next batch that was lapsed. So because of that, while reviving, we were facing many challenges. So now after one or two years, of course, it will take time to again rebuild that kind of culture again get back to those kind of levels of the programs or activities so that is challenging for us and there may be minor challenges as well but those can be overcome as and when we will proceed with the journey. 
as you mentioned sir what is the contribution that student could give from their behalf towards this activity as you mentioned ki uh, students have been uh, sub uh, yes yeah uh, what the contribution of the students is definitely a lot because i believe that the students are definitely ambassadors brand ambassadors of any of the educational institute so whatever uh, the quality students will showcase during the activities as well as outside to the world those qualities are very important so the sydney as a college or as a educational institute will be known for the quality of the students not for the infrastructure that states in them is giving so these qualities gets developed during these activities and then automatically the world will recognize those students these are the students of sydney so this is what the contribution of the sydney students to the institute so what is your personal favorite extracurricular activity a person a student should pursue uh, there are many i mean all these activities are all my favorite activities of course because doing any simple activity also so that also gives exposure to the students so even i can say that given any excited activity students go out they do the marketing they do the publicity so where they get to know many of the concepts they groom themselves automatically but i believe that the activities of like social cause activities done by our nss unit ssl units road tracks they go to some extra miles not only the fun part of the activities but uh, the activities which gives them some social responsibility as well so their students get more and more values inculcated within themselves so those activities are very important and i believe that each and every student should take some part of some of the activities of this uh, social cause or nss and ssl so even I was an NSS program officer at uh, the college earlier in my career. So then I used to do a lot of activities of these kind of things, maybe camps or certain activities in the rural area as well. So those camps definitely gives valuable time to the students. They could understand what the challenges outside the Mumbai may be, uh, how they are facing those challenges, how they can. They come out with the, some solutions. So that is very important because otherwise students won't come to know that there are some different world as well. So that is where I feel that these activities are very important in the students' life as well. Uh, where do you see the college in the next five years? What is your vision about Sydney Melbourne uh, as Sydney College? Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, good question in fact i can say and everybody when i took charge as a principal and when i love to meet alumni of this institute because uh, i believe that alumni is an asset of any of the educational institute so when they come to the college when they come to meet to our students or for some of the sessions or some of the interactive sessions as well so they used to say that while in our uh, Days, the Sydney was like this. Sydney was having this much uh, cut off. Sydney was very good in extracurricular activities as well. So the very first thing is very first goal is may not be for five years, but maybe for one year, two years, three years like this. We have to keep some milestones. So we have to bring back those days. That is very important. That is the vision. Everybody should have that. In fact, not only a single person can do these things. all the stakeholders like principal or even our higher authorities as well as colleagues professors teaching non teaching staff as well as students should have that vision that we should bring back the glory of the sydney what it was there earlier of course it will take time but uh, now we are in dr homi baba state university which is a smaller university where we have the flexibility as well flexibility in programs flexibility on in academic uh, syllabus and all the things framing those syllabus or framing the curriculum as per the industry need so that is an advantage as well as we have already started with nep uh, 
National Education Policy 2020. We have already implemented it. In that in, uh, policy as well, the more focus is given on extracurricular or other activities as well. So we should take these two things as an opportunity for us to bring back the Sydney what it was earlier. So that is very important for us. Uh, and uh, I can say, say, say that I am fortunate to be a part of this uh, journey. Sir, as you mentioned about the journey, uh, we have diverse students, faculties in our college. So, how do you plan on inculcating the plan of action of our college in these students and faculty and other people who are indirectly or directly associated with this? Yeah, even the, I mean, of course, we will not get a homogeneous uh, thing. There will be a diverse crowd or diverse stakeholders, we can say. But if we set a goal which will be common to all that, we have to bring the syndrome back to the glory. Then that common goal automatically motivates each and every stakeholders, even though they are from the diverse background or diverse areas, still they will come together to uh, fulfill that goal. That is very, very important. And uh, I believe that if the goal is common, then everybody will not focus on their personal uh, goals automatically they will come together for that bigger goal, bigger target and that will help us everybody to reach to the goal itself. So if the goal is common and that is bringing back the them the glory of whatever it was earlier. Absolutely. Sir, what is the difference between your time when you were in college, how you had your memories, your cultures and what we have right now? Uh, yeah. Even today we were having some of the meetings as well. So even there also we were saying the same thing. Now the students are getting more and more exposures. What at our time we were not having this much exposure or this much avenues available to us. Now students have many things, maybe in terms of curricular as well as extracurricular activities. So they get all the things, all the exposures at one day. And of course, because of the internet or because of the other aspects as well, because of the growth of the nation also, as we have seen that India is growing like anything, many areas are open now. So the different different sectors are available, which were not there when we were as a student. So it might be, I mean, of course, every age will have its own pros and cons. The more and more exposure to the students, for academic as well as uh, co-curricular activities but at the same time there are challenges also because the exposure may lead to some uh, other things as well so which we were not trying like the gadgets or social media or something that consumes a lot of time of today's students but we were not having those kind of things that time so of course there are plus as well as minus points of both the ages what was the motivation that guided you to become or come enter into the educational sector? Yeah, when of course there were different options also available in my mind that time. But uh, uh, by looking at my parents, my teachers, school teachers as well as college teachers, I thought, I mean, I was like, hey, how do they do this uh, challenge and kind of handling the students or handling the kids? So that was a little bit challenging which I failed and I personally try to accept the challenge. So if it is a challenging situation, I enjoy the situation. So that gives me first uh, spark to go for this uh, career. But after joining, when I was in the very first year uh, of my teaching profession, I loved that uh, feeling because when I used to experience or I used to teach to the students. I could get that the students are getting something because of me. So that feeling or that expression from the students that motivated me to continue my career. And of course, now we can understand when we are in a class or when I am teaching or when I am conducting any session, I could guess I mean, what the feeling of the student is. Is he happy with whatever I am delivering or 
whether he is not understanding or anything by looking at the expression in the eyes of the students i could get that so again going to the class different different years new student comes so again interacting with the new students it's not only that we teach the students i believe that even sometimes students also teaches certain parts of life teacher as well so that also becomes a kind of a good journey for me so what was the biggest challenge that you faced when you entered your career path there were many challenges because the, the career which i have chosen was not as easy as it seems to be the biggest challenge is making students more comfortable with you that is very first thing and very important thing is uh, we must see to it that the career of the students depends on how i am teaching them So that is the biggest challenge. So if I teach them simply just as a teacher, then it is of no use because the students will get the knowledge from somewhere else. Also. So nowadays, so Google, otherwise in books also. But motivating them, mentoring them, trying to justify my goal, that is the challenging one. Not only as a teacher, but as a motivator. I look at it as a motivator or as a mentor to the student. that is the challenging situation because sometimes students may not be interested in your lecture or your session that then making that lecture more interesting that becomes a challenge yes. and uh, i enjoy that accepting that challenge okay sir so what do you think about the rebranding of a college that was that we are carrying out with our alumni uh, yeah uh, of course Sydney is definitely fortunate enough to have a support of our strong alumni. They all come for in our sessions or they spend their valuable time because they are stalwarts in their areas. They come here and help our students. So Sydney alumni, even if they come here for half an hour or even for five minutes, interacting with the students that motivates the students. So while doing this exercise, uh, we came up with the idea with uh, with the help of alumni that the CNM can be rebranded again. We have to do certain exercises for that. So that is what we are trying to do. We kept a uh, vision of three years. So over the three years, how the CNM should go, how the CNM should be rebranded, with the help of of course students, all stakeholders like. teachers parents as well as alumni of course when we are taking such rebranding exercise it, it involves a lot of things so we have to consider all the aspects like students students qualities in terms of academic as well as co curricular activities their personal development so for that many activities are to be conducted like their soft skill training the training part apart from their academic uh, course or syllabus the training part in soft skills that is also very important so these activities if we start carrying out then definitely we will get uh, good results also and once the result starts coming automatically the branding will happen yes sir So as we are ending our interview, uh, what would be your last comments for our viewers, for our students? Yeah, uh, to viewers as well as to my all students. So whenever we are in Sydney, we should always think of we are Sydneyite. So this Sydneyite word that brings some sort of spirit or some sort of responsibilities to all the students. If each and every student and stakeholder take their responsibility towards good things or branding of sydney itself then automatically it will be a very good attempt of rebranding the sydney the things are very simple each and every student should feel that yes this is my college and i will be known when i'll go out i'll be known as the sydney mind So what that Sydney tag should be for that students? So if every student should take care of this branding or this responsibility, automatically my job will be easy. 
and of course the students may not understand that their responsibility now itself but when they go out like i said in earlier expression as well that when all the alumni comes back to the sydney they say that yes wow this was my days reading sydney so the same thing these students who will be after 5 years when they will be coming back they should feel that yes wow this was the sydney which uh, we uh, i have studied over here and i could get so much of things from sydney itself so whatever the career i am having that is only because of the sydney so this kind of feeling should be there in each and every student so that is what i appeal to all my students as well as you guys so much sir for your time yes, thank you so much it was a great session we got to learn a lot thank you thank you thank you